Now we're going to take a look at assembling our bridge. So we should have our three parts by now. So we've got our side truss right here. We've got our top. And we've got our deck right here. So what we're going to do next in Inventor is we're going to take the parts and assemble them together. So the way we do that is we go to File, New, click on it. You have parts up here, you go down to assembly right here. So we have a standard inches assembly. We hit create. Now what assembly does is pretty much like it says, you can take multiple parts, put them together to assemble them. So I'm going to go through this once really quickly and not explain it. And then I will go through it slowly. So just real quick to see how it all works. So first... I'm going to, let's put down the bottom first, put it down, you may get these errors, you probably won't get those errors because I saved it last time on a different computer. So I got my bottom, put my side up here, and again I'm going quickly, I will do it again at a slower speed after this. So that is my bridge now. So you can see how quickly I put that together. Now if I take it and I rotate it around, I've got my 3D model of my bridge all put together. All the parts are locked together using this constraint tool, which I'll show you in a second. And it all looks correct. So one of the nice things about doing this all in Venter and 3D modeling it is if I want to go in and change it, it's going to update everything. So for example, if I didn't like this design, if I found something that didn't fit or I want to change it, I can go and change it in here. So I can go back to my part and let's say I want to edit my part. I right click and edit sketch. Uh, let's say I wanted to add another line in here for some reason. Trim. Now when I hit finish sketch, it's going to update that part. Once I go back to my assembly, you can see that it updated that in real time. So I don't like that, let's undo it. When I go back to my assembly, it's undone. So let's go through step by step how to make that assembly. So I'm just going to pull this over to the side. You can use this place tool up top here. Click on it, and you're going to find all of your pieces. So they should be on your H drive where you saved them. So the first one is let's put down the base, put down the deck. Hit OK and it's grayed out right now it's following my mouse around when I click it it's gonna put it down if I want multiples I can just keep clicking as many as I want to do so undo that because I only need one so again place open 
and click it. If I don't want more, I can just hit escape on my keyboard. And then let's put down this, the top. Open, OK. Put that down. Hit escape to get out of that. And let's put down my truss, my side. Now, if you'll notice, if I put my truss down this way, it's at 90 degrees of where I actually want it. So one thing you can do before you click is if I right click this, you see I have my Y axis, my Z axis, and my X axis right here. So what I can do before I place it down is I can rotate it around these three axes. So if I wanted to rotate around the X, and I'm just right clicking there. So I, I know I want to rotate around my Y axis so it lines up. Now I want to get fairly close, click it, come over here, click it again to add a second one, and that's all my parts. So now I hit escape. Now I take these parts and I want to use this constrain tool up top here. And what that's going to do is it's actually going to lock those two parts together. So that way if I move one, it moves them both together. If I click on constrain, I have multiple different options right here. So mate is the one we're going to use. We're just going to use the default setting right here for this project. Uh, if I have two pieces that go together at an angle or a round piece that goes up to a flat piece, um, insert's nice. Uh, if you're making the cars and you want to insert the wheels and everything, so that's to put something inside of a hole, and then symmetry. So we're going to leave it on mate, and you've got these two selections here. So when I take my pieces, I want to put my first line and mate it up to my second line, so I'm constrained. So let's look at this corner right here. You notice when I hover my mouse over, it gives me either the plane or the line that I'm following right here. So I know that this line right here, I want that to be along this line right here. So I'm going to come over to this one, click, let go, come over to my second line, click, and let go. And then I hit apply. So you can see that these two pieces are stuck together. Now, what I want to do next is shift this over a little bit because I know I need this over here in the corner. So let's zoom out. Let's rotate around so I can actually see. And then let's zoom back in. So now I know I want this line right here to line up with this line right here. So I'm going to click, click, and you notice this first one is still lined up, but this second one it is a straight line, but I want it rotated around. So that way I have this opposed, aligned, and undirected. So what I want is, you may have to change these around. So let's just click that one, see what happens. And that looks good, right? So hit apply. So now these two pieces are stuck together in the computer in the assembly. They're constrained. If I move one, it's going to move both of them. So let's do that to the other piece now. Uh, so again, come here. I want this line and this line. So constrain. Leave the default. Click the first one. Click the second one. Looks good. Hit apply. Now this one, it looks like it's lined up. But let's just double check that by zooming in and make that line, that line, and then change this one again, hit apply. And then lastly, we want to put the top on, do it in the same manner. So we have this line right here, right there. It's going to line up with this line right here. So click, click, hit apply, um, and then we hit 
you know, this line with that line. And when I hit apply, I get an error. All right, so let's figure this out. So the two constraints I had would not work for some reason. So let's take a look at this last one I did. If I click my top, you can see over here which piece that refers to. So I can drop that down and I can see that first mate I did. Let's delete that because that's the one giving me the error. So let's separate this top part from the side so I can see it better. Let's click the free move up here, click the piece and just bring it up. Now you may think you can use this free move to put it all together but it's not very accurate and the pieces won't actually be constrained so we can move it roughly but not very accurately. So let's try this again. So constrain. I want this line matched up with that line. And so we see what the problem is, is we have to go back and fix this option right here. So now we've got it on top lined up the way we want to. Hit apply. This line lines up with that line. Hit apply. So that looks better. So that is our assembly. That's our assembled bridge. So like everything we do, we want to save our work and save it to your H drive. So just like before, file, save as, find your H drive, and save it into there, assembly, and hit save.